Michael Jen working with mm-hmm. Soldier Man. Like, mm-hmm. how was that? Just and, talented, Dude talented. Was talented man. It was crazy. He, like, he'll come up with this music. It'd be like, it'd be so going on. What's going on right now? Like at the time, it was crazy. So he was in the streets. So he was just, he would just, he'll come in the studio, put the beat and come out. He just go crazy on it. So mm-hmm. and then I don't, a lot of people appreciate it, but I think now they really like how I am. They really appreciate what he brought to the table. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, I gotta ask you about Soldier mm-hmm. Slim because mm-hmm. I've been interviewing uh, his son. Mm-hmm. And I've asked his boss, sister. everybody about, mm-hmm. I mean, how was it uh, being uh, on the label with Soldier and working with mm-hmm. Soldier, man? Like, mm-hmm. how was that? Just and, talented. Dude, talented. Was talented, man. It was crazy. He, like, he'll come up with this music. It'd be like, it'd be so going on. What's going on right now? Like, at the time, it was crazy. So he was in the streets. So he was just, he was just, He'll come in the studio, put the beat and come out. He just go crazy on it. So, mm-hmm. and then I don't, a lot of people appreciate it, but I think now they really like how I am. They really appreciate what he brought to the table. And he mm-hmm. just he was just a cool, solid dude. Yeah, just, just, yeah. Because well, everybody we interview is always they say that he's like the Tupac of New Orleans. I see that for sure. That's what I always. Hear and when you would go down there, it's like the city still embraces and yeah, love, love him like yeah. like he's there still. Mm-hmm. The, the, I mean, the, it's 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 a it's a spiritual thing for them. His 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 existence to me when you think about it, but I would say he's just so New Orleans. That's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's what it, you think in New Orleans. The soldier. I mean, it was just like that was he was just he embodied that part. So yeah, yeah. for sure. That, yeah. That's what he brought to the label too. He was he embodied it for sure. Wow, man, I'm I gotta get get with you. Used to do a little karate. I'm a black belt. <laughs> I, I heard about it. I, I was gonna grab what you level when you first came in. There. What level <laughs> black belt? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm almost a second degree, but I'm, I'm still a first degree black. Are girl. you trying to go higher, or are you just I don't like have the time? But I, I'm really good. Like I could probably shoot. Mm. I can't get to the top of the wall no more. I'm glad I didn't you can grab break, you. You can break um, bricks and all of that sort of stuff. You know, I watch a lot of TV and you know this karate. She loves karate. I know she karate watch this stuff all day. I grew up on that guy Silver Fox with the, with the razor yeah, 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 and the tip yeah. and whatever. Yeah, yeah. I grew up on all of that. Did you okay. watch those movies and stuff? Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm really good at it, but I think see most people will just use it. If you a, if you know karate, then you that's not good to just know karate because that won't really work in everyday life. Um, but you, but when I was when I was younger, I was a fighter too. Like I was, I you was fight all the time. Oh man, super. Ask my recipes. My grandmother, she she made me fight. Like she made she me work. made you fight. Yeah, you couldn't if you had a problem, you couldn't come in the house unless you fixed it. And so many of those nights were me and my cousin Tiara. We had those fights where if he lose, I got to go back out there and fight. So that's <laughs> one thing I could do. But you have to use karate in a sense of being real with yourself too, because a regular dude could hurt a karate dude mm-hmm. if he put his mind and vice versa. So you got to be able to know actual, you know, fighting too. Self defense, really. Yeah. So. But why would you want to do karate and not just boxing then? Do both. Oh, you did both. I do both. Yeah. Do both. Okay. Are okay. you better boxing or karate? Whatever you. I mean, use. karate would be better because it's it's um it's technique. It's technique, and right? And so most people, like, like, they wouldn't be able to understand the technique. So you could be talking to somebody and then. I, I, could, I could do five things on him. Right? I'm, I'm right not, don't do it on me. No, I'm not going to do it this time. This time, but you act up. I got you. Man. But you see, when, but I started when they, to get you at the door. But when you think about somebody who's tall boxing, they're always like, oh, tall folks can't be the boxer fight. Now I got to stay inside no, on that's, him. That's horrible. No, that's, yeah. that don't make, no, that's not true at all. Because the good part is you reach. Keep, keep, yeah, keeping somebody away from you. Like, he's not going to, like, once I once I do what I do to him one time, he's not going to You really, ain't doing it to me. I just might. I just might. You know what I'm saying? If it's the bad I thing, if it's bad, yeah, no, I might do it. But, um, but now it's like, so everybody like, oh, okay, you only got three bullets in the gun or whatever. Well, who's going to take the three bullets? Who's going to take them first? You know what I'm saying? So, Did you so, have your kids learn how to do karate? They, uh, they, they dabble with it a little. I want to put them in it more, though, because one thing about karate, too, it, it, it also helps you. Mentally, endurance, mentally, mm-hmm. um, and focus too. And, and your body is, um, you know, in some of the best shape. Of, you know, the best shape. You can, man. Listen, I'm not gonna tell you what I can do, but go ahead. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.